Otho, this is Carl's Mustang, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Hop 1 Burning Wheels Edition. It's basically the same thing as this one, but this one's a hot, this one's like a Vanity Edition or Summit Edition. It has extra power, and of course it has items that only it could have. And I already have it fully upgraded. And when you buy it brand new, it costs 332,000 credits. On the website, it lies and says and says that it's 132,000 credits. I'm not sure if it's lying or if they're going to discount it later because I bought it as soon as it came out. So we'll have to wait and see. But just remember, it could be 300 and uh, 332,000 credits when you go to get it. But the, but the race I'm going to be using today is Motor Road 66. I thought that would be a perfect route because not only would it test the speed and handling, like I say, on all my videos, but, well, it's a hot rod. I mean, hot rod on Route 66, what's not to like? But as usual, there's no tune, and I'm going to go quiet in the video so you get to experience the car. about the car. This car is awesome. I mean, it can, I think I can make it handle a little bit better with a tune, but it's surprising how great this thing already handles without a tune. Because if you know anything about the HIP 1 original edition, eh, that thing kind of sucks at handling. But this thing handles like a freaking beast. I love it. I mean, I could, it can handle better, of course, as I say, with a tune. Now, as for customization, 
only thing you could really do to this car is give it a paint job, put a livery on it, and van and put vanity items on it. Which I kind of knew the customization wasn't going to be totally there because look what I'm already driving as is. But it's definitely worth getting. I mean, you don't need it for the summit, so it ain't one of those cars you're very that you're forced to buy. But if you want, if you're in the hot rods and you're into driving something like this, 100% get it. And if I and if there's somebody watching this video, what about the performance? It's competitive. It could be competitive in PvP or even whenever a summit rolls around that wants this car in it, it could definitely do it, no problem. But I definitely recommend buying this car if you're interested and if you have the money to afford this car. And it's definitely an awesome car to have. That's all I really have for today's video, and I'll see you guys later in the next video.